If you've ever wanted to dedicate your energy to something outside of what your main job is, whether that main job is being a student or working toward a traditional nine to five career, you probably know how big of a hurdle just starting a side hustle is. I personally had so much energy after graduating college that I wanted to direct into a side hustle. And the vision was to turn this into something profitable. I thought about starting a startup. I thought about starting Amazon FBA the Fulfillment by Amazon program. I also thought about starting YouTube and modeling. I was held back by not knowing how to take action, being scared to take action. I had a lot of doubt. And today I'm going to share some tips on how I was able to overcome all of this to just take the first couple of steps in turning my interests into a business. The first difficulty I had was figuring out what I wanted to invest my time in. For this, I think it's really helpful to think about what our hobbies are and what we're interested in researching and learn about, learning about in our free time. So when you're on TikTok or Instagram or social media in general, what type of content are you interested in consuming? Perhaps another way to think about this is noticing when in conversation, what topics naturally make you a little bit more energetic to talk about. And this might help you uncover some interests that aren't super straightforward, but something that you can continue to be kind of curious about and continue exploring. Once you've figured out what direction you want to go in and what hobby you want to invest in, I think it's really helpful to talk to people about the goals for your hobby. And there's a few reasons why I like to do this. For one, the more I talk about my goals, the less intimidating these goals become to me. It took me so long to even be comfortable sharing aloud that I want to find representation in the New York market as a model. When I was researching how to become a model, I was reading and watching these stories of current models who were like, oh, I got scouted walking in a mall or I got scouted walking down the street. And maybe this is a little bit self-selecting because those are naturally more interesting stories to talk about. But for me, I'll be the first to admit that no one approached me. I applied because I wanted to be a model. I also wasn't close with anyone who was a model at the time, so reaching out to these agencies and applying was very intimidating and it was a very big deal for me. But talking through this goal with my friends made it seem a little bit easier and somewhat more achievable for me. So if you want to start an online business or open a brick and mortar shop, just start talking about it with a friend. If you're comfortable, I think it's also really helpful to be vulnerable and share why you're scared of starting if you are. I think in talking with a friend, not only are we processing aloud what it takes to succeed, however we might define success, it's also really helpful to get different feedback and perspectives. And finally, talking about our goals builds accountability. I want to be someone who takes action rather than talks about taking action. And so when I talk to someone about my goals, I know that the next time I talk to them, they might ask me how my progress is toward this goal and I also want to have some progress to report back to them. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'll share the goals I have for myself in general and also for YouTube and modeling. Whenever I have a question about how to do something or how to approach something, the first places I generally consult are YouTube and Reddit. Many of the problems you or I might have have probably been solved before which means that the answer is probably online. YouTube, for me, is a great resource for learning how people do things. So for example, how to find an agency, how to apply to a modeling agency. Reddit, on the other hand, is a tool I use generally to learn more about someone's experiences. So like, is X agency a good agency to sign with? I find that people are generally a lot more generous with the detail they might give on Reddit than on YouTube. It's also really helpful to break down our goal into smaller tangible steps. If your goal is to start a business, going from zero to fulfilling orders can be a little bit intimidating and we might not know where to start. Instead, I think about the small steps we might be able to take toward achieving our goals. This might require some research, but I also think the more we learn about our area, the more excitement and anticipation we build as we think about the milestones we have to hit to work toward our goal. Figuring out what these small steps are and surpassing them can be nice items to just check off the list as we're on our journey toward what we want to achieve. I think so often when we're on our journey, we're always looking for the next goal we're trying to reach or the next win. But there's a lot of value in taking a step back and acknowledging that wherever we are six months ago or a year ago, we were so excited to be where we are now. 
Having these moments of check-in helps me make sure that I'm not only looking forward to the destination, but that I'm also enjoying the journey as well. For the longest time, I was trying to get signed in the New York market. I applied to many agencies multiple times. I got dozens and dozens of rejections. So now whenever I get impatient that I haven't gotten a casting for a while, I take a step back and remind myself that not even a year ago, I was still looking to get signed with a reputable agency in New York. So with that said, here are my goals, keeping in mind that goals can change as we learn more about ourselves and more about the space that we're in. My goal right now is to build multiple streams of income, some of them passive, and also to have the flexibility to work from wherever I want. I guess I would say that is my North Star. For modeling specifically, my goal is to be able to book four jobs a month. I get the sense that that's not very common, but just looking at the rates I see from the castings I get, I think booking four jobs a month would allow me to make modeling a full-time career. I have also, since started, dreamt of having an ad in Times Square. I think that would be really, really cool. For YouTube, right now I'm aiming to build a community of people who also have a similar goal of building out multiple streams of income. And my strategy for YouTube is definitely to monetize at some point, so this can be one of those streams of income I was talking about. With that said, those were my goals. If you feel comfortable, please share your goals in the comments as well. I read all of the comments and I definitely appreciate your vulnerability. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.